What is up, YouTube? Welcome back, Son of Mortals, Phoenix Rising. So, this is going to be part two. Uh, we're going to have to reach the Hall of the Gods. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode, the start of the series here. Let's go ahead and get right to it. We have to glide off. So, let's go ahead and get, this, get a running start. I don't know if we really need to. Oh. We suck at flying. Okay. Okay. Let's go and get our warm up in for fighting. The big axe. We took down a tree? Oh. We're so good. We're so strong. Big swing. I like that it literally goes a 360. So you don't have to worry about anyone behind you. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Hey, what up, stranger? Hermes, same thing. Wait, where'd he go? The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. <sighs> this is incredible. I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, to be fair. That's the Hall of the Gods, right. but... Could use some updating. The column motif is a bit played out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty-bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Damn, just calling him out like that? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus, for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was defeated. Damn straight he was. And imprisoned under a mountain where he could do no more harm. I got to get back into that kind of shape again. For <laughs> thousands of years, Typhon festered until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld. Let Tartarus walk among the gods. Trouble, devour, and turn this life called gods to dust. Come, Olympians, brandish your weapons and face me. You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris. Go to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. In a final, desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old. The last warriors who had more than a few drops of God's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost, <laughs> so yeah, I'll 
lot of fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. Oh, awesome. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kind of lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? Uh-huh. Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. <sighs> this is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got. <laughs> how everyone else has been defeated. We gotcha. Good luck. No worries. I'll be right here doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. <laughs> Thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Oh, no. Oh, they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um, what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Okay. So we just trapped down other guides, get their essence. That's kind of how we build power enough to be Typhon. What would my brother do? Hmm. Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly. Oh, we got multiple quests. The entire Spartan fleet. Okay. Who am I kidding? Oh, first I'm one that shows up there is uh, from pain comes beauty. Scout the region from Aphrodite. Ooh, Aphrodite's statue. Hold on. I want to see what other kind of quest do we have. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me go and find these quests. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So each of these regions has a specific god that we have to encounter, or like the statue of it at least, and get the essence for. Over here in the War's Den is Ares. You know, War's Den, Ares, seems right. The Valley of Eternal Spring, we got Aphrodite. The Forge Lands, we got Hephaestus. I think that's how you say it. We'll go with it. And then the Grove of Cleos, we got Athena. There's nothing up here in King's Peak, but we might have some extra extra quests up there later on. And then the Gates of Tartarus, Tartarus right here. Explore the impact of Typhon's Rage. Okay, so it looks like we can do whichever ones we want to do first. That's That just looks like a little side mission. We're not going to do that yet. I think we're going to go to Aphrodite's statue first. I, I kind of want to save Ares for last, you know? For us being heirs, I feel like that's going to be like a, la a last thing. We'll save it for the last one. We'll, we'll go ahead and see. Ah, there's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelix and destroyed the entire Greek fleet. Right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. Huh. Okay. Oh, we only have two. We need six. Okay, so we need to get these Ambrosia shards. Okay, is there other stuff around here then? What's this? The bench of Zeus. <laughs> it's a pretty small bench, Mr. Zeus. This is where you train? Oh gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot. 
<laughs> nice. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so we have three. We need four to go ahead and increase our stamina. Okay. There's got to be other stuff then, right? This whole hall What's is this? filled with things. Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman. An unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. All right, so this is where we can uh, exchange coins of Ch of Charon here. Okay. We have ten. That means we can upgrade some of these right now. Huh? I believe so. Yeah, this only takes five. Let's see. What, let's see. Uh, sword air combo. Uh, yes. Hold on. Let's go to inquire that. That would actually be pretty dope. Axe combo. Axe air combo. Bow. And parry. Wait. Yes. Can we get that? After successful parry. Right, quick counter attack that interrupts large creep. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. Yes, we're going to do that one right now. All right. Now we can parry a little bit. Got it. So, we got to find those coins as much as we can. Upgrade our godly powers. It's basically a little skill tree for us. Ooh. And we just kind of glowed. Huh. We're basically gods. What are you? Oh, is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. What the huh. hell? Still better than visiting the dentist. Uh, is is it? I mean, let's be real here. All right, what are you? Looks like some kind of encryption. Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Titan. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. <laughs> Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices. Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. <laughs> What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever tried to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Huh? I think that just sounds easier than it actually is. Her, Let me know if her name is heroic. Okay, so we just get extra stuff so we can. Okay. What's next? What's this? Oh, this is the cauldron. This is exactly what we need. We need to make some potions. Nice cauldron. Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence. And instead, try to focus on potential potion recipes. Okay. What's this? this is, I think this is the last thing here. Oh! Is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. She was drawn to the <laughs> forge by a hidden force. The aramantine she'd gathered, calling out Ooh. to be reshaped. So we need some adamantium. Alright, bet. Ah, the Valley of Eternal Spring. Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. The Hall of the Gods. Eros' Palace. Oh! I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. 
Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, huh? I'm happy. All right. From such great heights, oh. a fluttering of birds feeding from the most beautiful apple tree caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again. So, stop asking! <laughs> Alright, we opened up the region. Let's go. Alright. Investigate the apple tree. Where was that apple tree? It was pretty close, wasn't it? Okay, it wasn't too far. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to explore the region on our off time. There's a lot of little Tartarus uh, unexplored vaults where we can get some extra stamina for, for Zeus's bolt. Or just other some uh, some different shards that we can also get to up our, our potion, stamina, any sort of that nature, up our skills. We're going to do that in the off time. We're going to see what the main mission is for us. We're going to investigate that apple tree. So, I believe... Where is it? It's that way. Yep. I'll see you guys when I get there. Is the apple tree talking? That apple tree is talking. It has a face. Oh, is this where we get a mount? You wouldn't happen to be Aphrodite? Why, yes, I am. Oh. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Yeah, purple eyes. Phoenix. It's kind of uh, cool. I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your, uh, arboreal state, you're beautiful. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, uh -huh. my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. Mm -hmm. I am reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer. So I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. They're primal, powerful. So we'll need, a uh, mythical salt water? Oh, oh, this is in the prophecy. A pearl in rough seas. You were a pearl born from rough seas. The salty sea foam from your birth. Yes, what an inspired proposal. But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? If a stranger asked to be troubled, then I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. Here's how to conjure Seafoam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. <laughs> Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it... That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went uh, down. Got it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. 
I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time okay. the meter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite, sweet and charitable. Huh. No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey, now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Okay, so we have to roll the pearl to the ocean. Is is that where the pearl is? Huh. Oh. Damn, that took some fall damage. I didn't realize that you did fall damage. I never had any fall damage until now. But it looks like this little cyclops right here is protecting our pearl. Time to destroy you. Ow. Okay, hold on here. Let's just go ahead and make this nice and simple. I'm going to do this. No, you're supposed to carry it. And supercharge. Nice. There we go. Dodge. Ow. Wrong dodge. Wrong dodge. Are you not allowed to carry? Here we go. No. Don't pick that up. Ow. Will a headshot do more? I don't know. Ooh, we gotta watch our health. Ooh, yep, we gotta watch our health. That was close. We should just be able to sword swipe him for the rest of the time. We just gotta make sure he doesn't pick up a rock. Like that. What? Does he automatically hit? Actually. Let's get this bad boy. Ha! We got the big one before ya. Alright, big attacks, big attacks. Oh, there we go. You are so done for. We'll get this before we, uh, <laughs> before we forget about it. But we got the pearl. So we get to roll it? Uh, move. The birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about okay. it. Okay. Grandpappy Uranus and my deadbeat dad Kronos had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. That's I not wonder. Oh, seven. we have 600 meters. Surprise attack. Oh Kronos my gosh. On I'm hoping. When Earth was severed from it's a big heaven, downhill. There was a great earthquake. But <laughs> I'll I'll just see you guys when I uh when I roll this thing down no to the ocean. <laughs> there we go. Bye bye Pearl. That took a lot longer than uh, I thought it was going to take. That pearl moved so slow. Collect the godly sea foam. Is it, is it down here? Yep, definitely looks like it. Good thing we got wings. To stop our fall. Ah, there you are. Aphrodite rose. Full grown. Beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh, Wait, yeah? is this not what we're supposed to be then doing? tell me how it really happened. I think. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be Wait, serious. I'm going to fight someone? Fell into okay, let's go ahead and, uh, can we fast travel back? We can fast travel back here. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's go and get back to Aphrodite here. Let's go ahead and return the film. All right. We got your uh, your godly sea foam. You've returned, you sweet creature. Do we have to fight Do you someone have now? The sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you good? Please take my blessing for all your hard work. Hey, hey, hey! Aphrodite's embrace. We are Look blessed. Quick. Pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many godly creatures that need my help. 
It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes, and those noses, those quivering wet noses. <gasps> oh crap! What's going on? What do we do? Is that Typhon's rage? Wrath up Wait, what? Oh. Alright, oh. Okay. Uh, we got some people. Wrath of Achilles? This guy is so strong. What the? Ow. Okay. Okay. Hold on here. What is going on? We got a parry. Parry. What the? Whoa. What the? Okay, wait. We just revived. But well, hold on. Why can't we? We can barely do anything against this guy. Oh my gosh. This guy is going to take forever to kill. Wait. Let's use this. Extra power, right? We use one of those fig potions. It's supposed to give us like extra power and stamina. Okay, can can I parry? Is that a parry or no? I think we stick with the dodge. Okay, that's a parry. But he's parried for like what half a second? Yeah, we're just gonna stick with this. Woo! The dodge is the best. Because it slows down time if you get it perfect. There we go. Is that it? Woo! What just happened? Seriously! I must not like you. Though I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids. And that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. Wow. He's hiding in a lair nearby. Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked and... Uh, I'm able to move by roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' lair. I can't help but the other three rays, though. Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know what they say. Bad things come in force. No one says that. Yeah, no that's, says that's, that. that's not the... Of crowd. What about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone. So I'm quite keen to... Nope. No. Uh, for some reason, that root is staying firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... That was strange. I can't keep no standing kidding. idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing. Anymore, <laughs> you have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful, snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So, what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. 
Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now, where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. Hmm. All right. We have a plan then. You mean like Please the rifts are just Until completely Aphrodite scattered? To herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. <laughs> Well, we discovered the, the race lair. That's fantastic. Okay. Well, there's three. Huh. Let's go ahead and check the map really quick. A crying shame. A crying shame. And a crying shame. Okay. Find the tears of Aphrodite in the vaults of Tartarus. Okay. So there are other vaults, but these are the three main ones that we need to explore for the tears. All right, bet. Oh, it's giving me a little warning that we're about to face a legendary boss. Uh, well, that's not good. Isn't this where we're supposed to go for the tier? We upgraded a little bit. I mean, we have... Uh... Wait. No, we need a rock. We upgraded a little bit in terms of our hood. You know, it, we got something. Aha! I got gotcha. you. Taking like five years to get that thing. Now what does that? What does that do exactly? Found you, sucker. Another activation thingy that we have no idea what it did. <laughs> Classic. Oh my gosh! I didn't even realize this. I found you. The last one. Let's go. And then that should open the door. Woo, okay, that was a little, that was actually a little tricky. But, got it. No worries. All right. Let's do this. Hopefully this puzzle a little bit. E Why is that doing that? Oh ho ho, we got it. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Glide. Yes. All right, pattern one down. Pattern two, let's do this. We got it. Hey, let's go. It's just honestly finding a combination of what works best. <laughs> I don't know if there's like an actual trick to it per se. I just kind of go for it and you know if it works it works. It takes a couple minutes, but you know, it gets the job done. Guys, I think I found the pattern. Okay, so the first three on the left. Up to. All right, I got this. Hey, let's go. It worked. I got hit once, but it's okay. It worked. I don't Do we have to go over here? Oh, there's another one for a chest. Let's go do this really quick. Let's get some gear. All right. On to the final bit. Why does it keep popping that up? I, I don't want to see that. Ubisoft, stop it. No tear weighs so heavily as a tear of love. And so oh. no tear had ever been as heavy as this. Did we get it? A tear from the broken heart. So we got the tear and we got a Zeus little stamina bolt thingy. <laughs> I'm cool with it. I will share my perfection with this world. I will make you see. Uh, Phoenix carefully approached the vault guarded by boars. I think we found the... Not unlike the one that mauled Adonis to death. You sure Adonis wasn't bored to We have a wraith, don't we? Where's the, where's the wraith? Found you. What the? Are you tiptoeing towards me? Right, let's go take out this guy and we'll go back to the quest zone. Fuck. 
Ow. I hate those race. All right, we're finally here at the main spot. At least these can be parried pretty pretty easily. Ow. As that happens. Nope. We gotta we gotta find more health potions. That's what we need. We have been at like one this whole time. Come on, little warhog. We dodged. All right. Find a race layer to face the street for and defeat it. This will prevent Typhon's, Typhon's race from spreading to layers region. Got it. Okay. No, close that. Uh, yeah. How do we? What are we? What are we doing here? Ha ha! I found you. So just beat on the statue. Got it. All right, Adonis's fall. Let's do it. Is it gonna be pretty similar to the last time, or is it gonna be? Ooh. Wait. Wait a minute. I saw some air. If we hit this. Hey. Gotcha. Hit it again. Oh, I missed. Do we need all of them? Eh, let's go ahead and do it. Why not? Last wall. Wait. We gotta time it perfectly. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, I don't think we need any more. I think we have enough. We just need enough to climb up, right? 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 Please tell me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nope, we're done. Okay, there we go. Like, what the hell? It didn't work the first time. Nice. We got one of those balls in there right away. Cool. Let's fly all the way up. Let's get as high as we can. Then glide. Yep, catch wind. Boom. Perfect. And Here, get the tear. Found the tear that marked the tragic final and then we get the bolt. All right, on to the last tier. All right. Well, we made it to the quest zone. Where the vault is. I have no idea. I'm guessing it's where the statue is. That's not the statue over there, is it? That can't be. No, it's right down here. <laughs> classic mistake by Brad here. Okay, it's not too classic. Well, okay, let's do this. All right, this should be the last cabbage, right? Hey, we're so smart. All right, nothing around here. Let's do this. Is it gonna be more cabbages? Activate. Okay, so we have a box, we have a box. Huh. Okay. I see you. Why why not why not keep it? Do I need that? 
Let's go ahead and set it right here. Ooh. Yup, we use these to climb up. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. There we go. All right, that was pretty easy for that part. We just had to keep one box with us at all times just to bring it all the way up there. Wasn't too bad. Here we go. All right. Is that the tier right there? That was it? What's the rest of this? It's like maybe for an extra extra loot box or something. Deep Got it. In the vault, Phoenix found one of the tiers Aphrodite shed over Adonis. I really don't think Adonis was worth all this crying. It was just a pretty Ooh, face. Maybe we have to get out. Okay, let's go ahead and set these boxes up again. Bam. There we go. Just a couple moving to crates. Wasn't too bad. I actually failed the first time because I didn't realize I needed both crates. So I tried to go back and I missed my double jump to get back. So that was kind of awkward. But it's all right. We still got it. No worries. We got that last bolt. We got the tears. I wonder what's next. We have to return to Aphrodite maybe? Huh. Guess we'll find out. Phoenix left the vault victorious, tear in hand, smelling only faintly of cabbage. With all three tears collected, Phoenix set off to shrivel Aphrodite's most stubborn root. All right, guys, so we got to travel way up north here to reach the vault of Aphrodite. So if self of Aphrodite's roots could be shriveled with godly sea foam, maybe Phoenix could access could gain access to her lost essence. Okay, so this is kind of the, I'm not gonna say the last part, but maybe one of the last parts of getting her essence, which would be dope. Okay, so we gotta breach that vault, but I think that's where we're gonna end it for now. A lot of these do take some time to actually do uh, the puzzles, to kind of solve them a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and end it right here. I think what we wanna do is go ahead and breach this vault, and if we can, Maybe try to defeat Achilles next time. A real heel heel. A real heel here. Wow, that was bad. But uh, from what I gained from before we talked to Aphrodite, if we defeat Achilles, then the Wraith of Achilles won't come at us when we're doing the main missions. So we'll go ahead and check that out after. But like I said, that's, come, that's where we're going to end it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we're going to start off next episode with breaching that vault of Aphrodite. So... As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.